Hey guys and welcome back. So I decided to release the first part of this quest guide because uh, it's up to August 7 that we're going to get the entire quest re-enabled. So I guess this will make people prepare for this. So the quest starts at Batali Farm. This is where you're going to get your first quest. So make your way to Batali Farm, the bit south of Velia. And here you want to talk to Emma Batali. So Emma Batali is the first NPC that's going to give you the first quest. So just talk to Emma Batali and e Emma Batali is going to give you this piece of knowledge that you need, you need to get. So this Emma's never ending nightmare is the knowledge that you need to have. So she doesn't give you any other quest, she only gives you the knowledge. And after you get the knowledge, it's a bit... Uh, vague or not to do but after that you need to go find some Olvia's remains to continue this quest so all these remains are in a bit north of Batali farm uh, so just go a bit north and you'll see this building right here so this building has like an underground on it and uh, inside here is where you're going to find this Olvia's remains so just make your way underground and I'm going to show you where to find so you want to interact with this here. So the skeleton over here, that's all that remains. So spend a bit of energy as well. And you're gonna get even another piece of knowledge of this battalion remains. So now once you have that, you want to go to your black spirit and your black spirit will now have a quest unlocked. So go to your suggestion tab and you need to find tears of blood quest. So Tears of Blood is the next quest that you need to get. Okay, the moment you have the Tears of Blood quest, you have to go back now to Emma to complete this quest. So this quest basically tells you to go and talk to Emma again. So go back to Emma Batali. So you talk to Emma Batali, you complete that quest and uh, once the moment that quest is done, uh, you'll get a new quest but uh, not from Emma, you want to go to your Black Spirit again. So summon the Black Spirit again, head over to the quest and uh, switch to the suggestion tab. Look for the next quest called the Forgotten Batali, that's the next quest. So Forgotten Battle is what you need to get. So Forgotten Battle will send you back all the way to to the Velia in town. So head over to Velia and go to where the uh, cooking NPC is in Velia. So this is the area where the cooking NPC is. So here is where you have the next quest. So talk to Islin Batali and she's going to ask you to give her high quality wine. So this high quality wine you can just buy from the NPC on the left. So just buy one high quality wine. And you're now going to hand this over. Use the second option, not the first option. The first option doesn't need to complete the quest, you need to do it with the second option. The moment you give her the high quality wine, just go back to Emma Batali and you need to you know, that's where you're going to hand in this quest. So this quest gives you this piece of knowledge uh, that you can find here. There are kind of clues. So when you get this, know that you have actually done it correctly. So let's head back to Emma Batali to complete this quest. So once we are there, uh, the moment you complete this quest from Emma Batali, 
you will get a piece of knowledge, the Forgotten Princess. So each of these quests will give you a piece of knowledge. So spawn your Black Spirit and it's going to have a new quest in the suggestion tab. So take the new quest, Hidden Record. That will be the next quest. So uh, at this point you'll need a grip. I, I didn't have a grip at the time, so I decided to buy a grip in the market. And I actually just bought one because I, I thought it's going to take me only one. I'm also sure if it, you only need one or you need a, a bunch of it because um, what you need to do is you need to get a piece of knowledge from Ember Batali. And uh, when I used the one grip and spent a bit of energy, um, you're supposed to get uh, the dialogue box that has uh, the information in it, but mine was kind of empty. So uh, I don't think it worked, so I, th I think it's a bit RNG to get it. Or maybe you can actually just do it once and it doesn't really need to give you the, the knowledge. So I just pumped uh, some, some energy and some grapes to try and get that piece of information in that dialogue box. And uh, spend a couple of knowledge, a couple of energy and get it. So I, I switched to my alt, came with a bit more grapes. And uh, I did it a bit once on my alt, and I, uh, the dialogue box changed to a dialogue, dialogue box that has um, some knowledge in it. So what you're after, after giving up the grip, uh, it's uh, a dialogue box that has information in it, not empty. So it should, ha it should have this information in it. I'm most sure if it's a must, but uh, I believe this is what you're after, the knowledge and information it. So go and find yourself a 10G gold bar, because you're going to need it for the next part of the quest. So get a 10G gold bar, and you'll go to Calpheon to get to complete the next quest, this hidden record quest. So head over to the tavern, so this is the location of the tavern in Calpheon. So this is Milano Belushi. Is who you're going you are after, but not uh, the, on not the NPC itself. You need to interact with the bookshelf on the left. So interact with the bookshelf, and that should complete the first part of that quest. Then ne next part is uh, using the ten G gold that you got. You want to interact with the tavern owner. So interact with the tavern owner and spend that ten G to buy the book. And that should complete that quest. So your hidden record uh, quest, it should be done. So go back to Alien in Velia to complete this part of this quest. To get to Alien, complete that quest and take the new quest that she gives you. So the new quest that she gives you is an Alien's Help quest. So take the Alien's Help. And uh, from then you want to make your way to Glish. Head over to Glish and you want to talk to the... I think he's the alchemist in Glish. So you're looking for... Freharau. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fre Freharau. So find uh, Freharau and just talk to him, give him the letter. And uh, that's that's pretty much it for that quest. So the moment you give him the letter, go back to Alien again in Velia and uh, complete this quest. So once you get to, Vel uh, to Velia, complete that quest and you'll want to take the next quest again, still from Alien and this quest should be Materials for Memory. Materials for Memory is the next quest you need to get. So this quest involves around crafting uh, an elixir. I didn't want to tell you to gather all the materials because I'm also sure you if you need to craft the, the elixir, you, if you can craft this elixir beforehand like the other previous videos because this elixir kind of uh, uh, it 
it's a bit weird. I, I think it's, I prefer you craft it when you get the quest instead of crafting it before you get the quest. So the materials for crafting the silics are 50 blood, there's 50 of each of these materials. So red, red tree lamps, spirit leaf, wise man's blood. So if you don't have wise man's blood, you need to gather some fox blood. So the best place to gather some fox blood is around here, uh, forest of seclusion. There's a huge concentration of foxes here, so just get a magic fruit collector. Kill a few foxes, shouldn't take you around five, more than 5 minutes to gather all the blood you need. You need like 50 of them to create 10 wise man blood. Because you, I, don't, I, I couldn't get any wise, wise man blood from the market, so I'm not sure it will be there when you start doing this quest. And then you'll also need traces of ascension. Uh, the, you can get this by melting your, any urea weapon that you can find. So pre-order this from the market, you can get enough ascensions to craft them before the quest is re-enabled on 7th August. And after that, uh, you have to craft some Wiseman blood for yourself. So the recipe is uh, one of each, so not two of fox blood. And then you'll need one of that, one of ascension and one of clear liquid reagent and that's the recipe of crafting a wise man's blood so craft 50 of these to use them in crafting the elixir of memory for the quest this is for the people who cannot actually find the wise man blood in the market like i did I, I couldn't get any in the market there's several now but i'm also sure they'll be there by the time this quest is re-enabled next week So now, when you have when you have all of them, so you need 50 of each of these materials. So 50 branches, 50 wiseman blood, 50 of the other monk branch, 50 of the tree lamps, and tree notch, tree lamp, and spirit leaf. So 50 of the, of these five in ingredients what we need to combine to make yourself an elixir of old memory. So unlike other quests, uh, this quest involves the objective of making this elixir. So I think you actually need to make it the moment you get the quest, not before you get the quest. So that's why I held it, I held it off until I got the quest to make it. Because the moment you finish making it, that's when the objective is actually kind of completed. So I'm most so sure if you, if you do it earlier, if it will work. So the moment you get uh, that elixir, you just go back to Ellen to complete, uh, to hand over the elixir and you should complete this quest. This quest doesn't involve so much traveling uh, around that far, so it's, it wasn't that hard. Hello, adventurer. So I'll hand over the elixir and take another quest from Alien again. So the next quest you should take uh, is uh, back in time. So look for the back in time quest and get that with you on the moment you get uh, back in time you want to head over to Olvia Olvia is the next quest area so find Igor Batali is the this is the location of uh, Igor Batali is the old guy in the front but yeah we're not looking for him we are looking for a certain spot so it's just next to this kid over here so just move a bit right of the kid and you should get this to interact with. That's what you're supposed to interact with. So just get that, use the elixir pair, and that is basically it. The moment you use that, just go back to Alien and complete this quest. So head over back to Alien again in Velia, complete the place of memory. Hello, adventurer. And then take the next quest, which is Traces of Forbidden Love. So for this, you need to find uh, two traces. So the first one is in Olvia. So let's go all the way back to Olvia. I'll show you the location of this trace. So go back to Igor Batali again. That's uh, where the trace is. Igor Batali. Uh, it's uh, behind uh, this building, so just go around it. 
and now you'll want to climb these buildings so um, just watch me fail for a few seconds I, I just wanted to show you how bad I am at just general jumping in this game I have no idea what's wrong with me I even had to use a jumping elixir because I thought I needed it but apparently you actually don't even need it you just need a bit of jumping skill so <laughs> what I'm aiming for is to land on that uh, I don't know how to call it because we are aiming for the window on the far left that's where you're supposed to go so uh, after composing myself after a few a few seconds I decided to gather my skill and actually made it so that's where you want to land and then go for the window and then get up so it was that easy but I don't know why I just I don't know sometimes I have no idea why my jumping is really bad in this game so go go by the corner and you should get the thing to interact with and that is the first twist so the next twist that you need to get is in Calfion it's actually graffiti that you're actually looking for I don't know why I'm calling them traces that graffiti so go all the way to Calfion that's where the next graffiti is so uh, find this uh, looks like a bridge and this bridge is where you need to find this next graffiti so get over the bridge and on the far corner of this bridge where you find these three guys uh, that's where you'll find the next graffiti so just interact with that graffiti that will complete this quest and then you'll head back to Velia again to hand in these traces of forbidden love quest. So hand that in and take uh, the next quest from him, the Roots of Aspiration. So the Roots of Aspiration is the next quest. So I believe this is the seventh one in this chain and this is where you need to get the key. So this is also a bit of RNG. Uh, I don't know how much of RNG is, in, is involved. It, it wasn't that hard for me, but I, I saw a lot of people complaining in chat about how long it took them to get that key. So before you do this, you should probably go to church and, you know, pray. So get, go buy yourself a few uh, shovels, so any material vendor has this, I think it's any material vendor, I'm also sure, but buy yourself some shabby shovels. Um, I don't know the perfect number you need to get, so 100 maybe, 500, just have uh, several with you. And then you want to head over to the desert, so it's actually in Muik uh, Muikun, so go all the way to Muikun. If you can remember the light stage, so you need to go all this way, but it's not really inside Mikun, it's just uh, by the entrance. So Mikun is here, but the area we need to be is by these rocks over here. So just by the entrance of Mikun, just go a bit uh, forward and you should get this, you find this area. So what you're looking for is, uh, um, you should hit the stairs, and a bit left of these stairs is where we need to dig up this key so right click your shovels and uh, I don't know pray just right click and pray that's that's all so I'm gonna brag because this took me really a short time I bought a thousand because I thought my RNG was bad but um, yeah the game trolled me I got it in my second uh, shovel so <laughs> I have no idea some people use 500, I use 2, so yeah, that's video RNG for you guys. So the moment you have the key of aspiration, well, you go back to Alien again, and you hand over this, uh, you don't hand over the quest, you just, uh, yeah, you hand over the quest to get the key. The key is actually the, the quest reward. So use that. So after you hand over the quest, now it's gonna give you a new quest, and we need to get uh, 
a key of truth. So this is the quest where it was a bit bugged. United as one is the quest that made this whole event uh, to be paused. So I'll end this part one here because the next part, the next quest, the next two quests have been re have been re enabled next week after maintenance. So you can use this guide to like uh, prepare some items, all the items that you need. You have some time now to make make some uh, pre-orders on Uria weapons because they were not they were not even one in the marketplace when I was doing this. And uh, the moment they re-enable the next quest and we do the last two quests, I'm going to post a video almost immediately once I finish it. So yeah, so thanks guys for watching and uh, I hope you'll good luck when you start doing this quest next week. So subscribe and like the video as, as always. I'll see you next time.